Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a game where there was a checkmate threat. And I'm going to see if you can spot it and how I managed to get out of it and the surprise twist ending to the game. The game didn't actually end in checkmate or even a draw, but more on that later. Basically, the, my opponent threw in the towel, but more on that later. Let's look at this. My favourite opening that nobody uses because nobody understands it. Symmetrical pawns on the queen. Queen pawn, symmetrical queen pawns, symmetrical king knight, at this point I want to try an experiment of exchanging, um, keeping the knights and ex getting rid of the bishops, or something similar. And this is part of something I make, I've been experimenting on, trying to swap the king and the queen over, just to, um, we didn't... Now, I'm threatening their queen and the, and the, um, bishop. And now, I block it. I could have got for the queen exchange, but I blocked it instead for now. And this is where it's going to get fairly interesting. I, did, I simply moved the bishop out so that the rook and the queen could pair up to protect each other. And now, the lethal move by white. Can you spot the checkmate threat? Would you have spotted the checkmate threat? That is the checkmate threat. That is what White intends to do, intends to do on the next move. So somehow I had to stop that immediately. So, what did I do? Well, somehow I had to block that. So the next thing I did to stop it, the only move I could see, wait, easy way, one of the few easy ways I could think of, the only way I could feel of stopping it was to move the knight. Of course, I could, and well, that would have been a bad move. Instead of doing that, I could have done this. Or could I? But then I would have lost in just, I would still have lost in just a few more moves because then it is. A forced mate where the only possible thing I can do to stop it is to do oh no it's not as bad as I thought not as bad as I thought would be that and 
and then they could simply move um, this pawn down move it down again and then somehow get rid of that and you know my king looks doesn't look in a very good position there but anyway I'd going back to what I did that's what I did and the next move my opponent did was this after this was this now they've gone from threatening checkmate to practically losing the game they've now done what is known in colloquial terms as a boat as gambit i.e. they've just now blundered their queen I, so uh, noticing their error I then took their queen and then they resigned. That was the end. They resigned at that point. So just three moves they lost, pretty much. I mean obviously they could have probably carried on if they wanted to. It would have been harder for them. It wouldn't necessarily have been absolutely catastrophic because I could have blundered something. Uh, my <coughs> my king is fairly vulnerable in that position. It looks fairly trapped, but nonetheless, there would be a way out of it. But you know, they decide to resign instead. So there you go, guys. A a queen blunder by my opponent after nearly uh, nearly checkmated me okay so there you go guys thanks for watching bye